Hi, this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Today we're going to talk about how to repair a leaking bathtub faucet. Okay, so we've got everything that we need. We have uh, the replacement uh, washer and the O-ring that we're going to apply. And so we have everything here with us that we need. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Take this off and, and uh, put this to the side. Now, what I did was I went to a local uh, hardware store and got what we call a Pro Valve Pack. And it's got assorted flat washers in there. There's over a hundred of them. Um, and just so happened to have uh, the fitting that I need. So I've got the, the new washer. I'm going to put this in. Now again, kind of take a look at this. This should fit in there exactly. Okay? So it does. And what I'm going to do is take that original screw and put it back in. And I'll tighten that up real quickly. Okay, that's set. And uh, by the way, you don't have to bear down on this whatsoever. Um, just take it and, and get it down flush, if you will. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take a Phillips screwdriver and screw it in like so. Again, when you uh, tighten anything, you want to go clockwise. So that's done. Don't have to use any force on that whatsoever. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is um, put the ring um, around this section here. It goes around the screws. You've got to be real careful and just kind of roll it on. So now it'll fit like so. Alright. Then what I'm going to do is this back together and again it doesn't turn clockwise this is different on this one it turns um, to tighten this up you've got to go clockwise but usually to unscrew and things like that because see I'm going backwards this is uh, this is the end that goes inside towards the wall so I've got that and that's a good fit there good seal and so we're good there next thing I'm going to do is uh, apply the packing that goes inside here. And so what I'm doing here is just using uh, what we call graphite valve packing. And so you take this out. It's kind of kind of rubbery feeling. It does stretch. It does have some elasticity to it. And I'm just going to feed this in a little bit. Wrap it around a couple of times, and I'm going to go ahead and pull on it and let it stretch. That way it will fit inside. I'm just going to go around probably about three times there. Okay, and then now I'm going to take the cap here, push this in, unscrew, this part here, hold everything, pack it in there, and if you need to, you can take a screwdriver, kind of just take it like so, and literally pack it in. Okay. Screw that in like so. Okay. And I'm having to unthread this a little bit to where it will pack as I need. All 
right? Do the best you can by hand first and then take your tools and tighten up this section right here and this section right here. So let's do that now. Now how you do that is take a crescent wrench. And what I do is just open it up, hold that in there like so. Get it one more time. Okay. Tighten this up a little bit by hand. Just like this. Then I take my channel locks and grab a hold like so. Grab this, tighten it up a little bit. Tighten it up. There we go. You don't have to bear down on it or anything like that. So now we've got our packing in there. We've got the new ring and we've got the new flat washer. Everything's secured and it looks like it's working just fine. Good. Right. Now we're ready to go ahead and reinsert the stem back into the uh, what we call the water tree and um, uh, go from there. This is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video. See you next time. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos and you'll see a link below. Click on it. The 1,000th person that subscribes to TheHandymanToolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.